You know, I make two different jerkbait rods in the Team Lou Signature Series and the Team KVD Series. Both of them are six foot ten. I also have a, a GC1, which is a six foot eight. If you're a little bit shorter, having that rod that, you know, the tip isn't hitting the side of the boat or the water's key, but the short handle, having that extra fast tip, you can see it's got, I mean, a ton of tip right here, but then a lot of backbone. So when you're popping it, it's really making that bait jump. You know, you always work it with slack in the line. So I'm never moving it towards the boat with a reel. I like, you know, the seven, five to one reel, either my KVD series or this hyper mag, you know, the hyper mag matches up really good with this, uh, with our signature series rods. But, and I'm gonna use just the line size that matches that particular depth zone that I'm at. You know, right now I've got 14 pound line on this right here. You know, I'm, I'm fishing five to seven foot flats. I'm not worried about getting the bait real deep. If you're fishing in cold water, and trying to get the maximum depth say out of the you know the 300 series deep yeah you might want to go down to 10 or 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon always straight fluorocarbon though you know to get that bait to jump you want that floral that has the low stretch it sinks it helps keep that bait down there it's just a full you know the whole combination that really makes it happen when you're fishing a jerk bait but the rod is critical